Welcome or welcome back at C squared. In this example, we're gonna get the regression line for this uh, data you see here on the left. And for that reason, I'm gonna use a TI calculator, a TI83. The first button you need to press is the stat button. After you press that stat button, you're gonna get this screen. And the first thing you see, you um, ed edit. You're gonna click enter and you're gonna get this table with uh, three columns, at least the, the one you, you see, L1, L2, and L3. On L1, you need to put these numbers, type in each number and click enter. On L2, type in these numbers, one by one, and click enter, and you should get this screen. Once you have this screen, we can move to the second stage and we can get the sc scatter plot. For that reason, you want to click on second and Y. And then you're gonna get what is called the scatter, the stat plot uh, screen. And you notice all of them are off. I'm gonna stay with number one and I'm gonna click enter twice. And then I'm gonna activate the stat plot. Once you activate the stat plot, you can click the graph button. But in this case, you are not going to get anything because this data here do not match your window so for that reason you're going to click the zoom button and you're going to get this menu and you can go using this arrow up or down or you can press number nine which i did it and i get this zoom stats number nine click enter and you should see your uh, scatter plot my next uh, step will be to get the equation the, of regression line and for that reason I'm gonna click again stats which is right here and then I will move to the right to calc using these arrows and I'll get this menu and you already notice number four we have linear regression and also you're gonna have a linear regression on number eight I'm gonna use number eight for this problem for this data I'm gonna click enter and after that if you want to get the graph of the regression line click this vars button and then move with the arrow to the right to the y vars you already see highlighted number one function click enter you're gonna get this screen, click enter one more time, and then you're gonna go back to the screen with the linear regression, and you see now y1 there. So whenever we get that equation, we're gonna find that equation saved in y equals right here at y1. You can click enter now, and I, as you notice, I get the equation of the regression line, y equals ax plus b. A is 0.88, B is 2.51, and I also notice I get the R and R square. If you do not get those two values, you have to do the diagnostic of your calculator. Here on this last slide, you can see a summary of what I have. We have the equation of the regression line on the left side, right here. We have the picture with the regression line now, and also we have uh, the summary of our problem right here and my next part of this uh, video clip I'm going to show you how to do this regression line using a spreadsheet and if you notice in this spreadsheet I type in the number we had before and I move to the right here where insert is and then I'm gonna use this thing here which looks like a scatter plot click the down arrow and you're going to get the scatter plot choose this one click enter click on that and you're going to get the scatter plot which is similar with the one obtained with ti83 then you want to activate one of the points like this right click and you're going to get a menu which is going to have add a trend line which is going to allow you to see how several type of trend line be sure you have the linear trend line and then scroll down and choose this 
display the equation, display the R squared, and you're going to get this information on your graph. And that is a way to get the equation of the regression line using the spreadsheet. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how to get the regression line using the GeoGebra. For that reason, you go on GeoGebra Classic and then use this spreadsheet, which is similar to the spreadsheet from that Excel. If you click on it, you're going to get something like that. You're going to have to type in the number and then you're going to have to choose this icon, type, click on it and then click on this choice to variable regression analysis and double click and you're going to get this uh, scatter plot which is similar with the other two we mentioned before if you want to get the if you want to get the equation you're going to have to go right here under regression model on that drop menu you're going to find the linear you're going to choose that it's going to give you the line and also it's going to give you the equation if you want to get the r and r square you want to click on this sigma and you're going to have a summary of some statistical information about this uh, scatter plot also what i want to mention on this geogebra i have here uh, a choice to use this uh, symbolic evaluation you can type in your x and you're going to get the y and on the first thing here I did what is called a intrapolation. This 18, if you notice, is right here between 16 and 25. And on this graph will be right here somewhere, which is 18.49. And also I did what we call an extrapolation right here. That is 50. It's outside of the data. And we can get the value using this regression line, which is 46.9. If you enjoyed this work, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.